Today's topic is hand, foot, and mouth disease, or HFMD. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a mild but highly contagious viral infection commonly found in young children. The infection primarily affects children younger than the age of 10 because they do not yet have immunity to the viruses that cause it. However, it can also occur in adolescents and occasionally in adults. The infection is not related to foot and mouth disease, also called hoof and mouth disease, which is an infectious viral disease that affects livestock, such as cows, sheep, and pigs. The two are different. Animals do not contract or transmit HFMD, and humans do not contract or transmit the animal hoof and mouth disease. Hand, foot, and mouth disease occurs in all areas of the world, usually during the spring, summer, and fall months. Causes The major cause of HFMD is the Coxsackie virus, A16, which belongs to a group of viruses termed non-polio enterovirus. The second most common pathogen that may be responsible for the infection is enterovirus 17. Other strains of enteroviruses sometimes can also be responsible. Transmission. The infection is highly contagious and is transmitted by direct contact or oral ingestion of infected person's saliva, fluid from blisters, stool, respiratory droplets sprayed into the air after a cough or sneeze, nasal secretion, or throat discharge. The infection is also transmitted by touching objects or surfaces that have the virus on them. HFMD can spread quickly in child care settings because of frequent diaper changes, potty training, and because little children often put their hands in their mouths. Symptoms Incubation period, the time between infection and onset of symptoms, is usually between 3 to 6 days. Fever, sore throat, loss of appetite, irritability in infants and toddlers, painful facial ulcers or lesions may also develop in or around the nose or mouth. A rash with painful tiny blisters may start to show up in the mouth, including the sides of the tongue, gums, top of the mouth, and on the inner cheeks, palms of hands, fingers, buttocks, and the soles of feet. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will evaluate the age of the affected person, the pattern of signs and symptoms, and the appearance of the rash or sores. This will help aid in distinguishing HFMD from other types of viral infections. To determine the strain of virus causing the illness, the doctor may take a throat swab or stool specimen and send it to the laboratory. Early detection of the infection is important in preventing an outbreak in the pediatric population. Treatment. No specific treatment option exists for the infection. Signs and symptoms usually clear up within 10 days. To help reduce the pain of mouth sores, a topical oral anesthetic may be recommended. Over-the-counter pain medications such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen may help relieve general discomfort. In rare cases, an infected person may develop viral meningitis, an inflammation of the tissue covering the brain and the spinal cord, and may need hospitalization. To help manage blister soreness and make eating and drinking more tolerable, you can avoid salty or spicy food, eat ice cream, drink cold beverages such as milk or ice water, eat food that doesn't require much chewing, avoid acidic foods and beverages such as soda, fruit drinks, and citrus fruits, rinse your mouth with warm water after meals. Preventive measures include Avoid direct contact with infected persons, including keeping infected children from school. Proper cleaning of shared utensils. Proper hand hygiene, including regular hand washing. Disinfecting contaminated surfaces or objects. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.